Hello viewers and welcome to another Gran Turismo video. Uh, this is another one I recorded last week immediately after the Matterhorn race and we're at Bathurst. And Bathurst is a track currently in vogue at the moment. Uh, lots, Everybody's including it in their games. Uh, it's a track that was, wasn't included in so many years ago uh, but obviously we've seen it in iRacing, Gran Turismo, Forza 5 uh, added to Grid 2 as well. Of course Codemasters included Bathurst in Toka Race Driver 2 at the time which was a lot of fun as well. Now this track offers lots of challenges obviously you have this twisty uphill section, lots of undulation, uh, different lines through the corners uh, and it's quite tricky, it has a number of areas where it's it's easy to make a mistake and difficult to maximize the speed so it does take a lot of practice and again this is one of those I'd much rather play with a wheel rather than the pad but uh, certainly it takes practice finding that line and then this uh, it's actually the narrowest part here is actually reasonably easy this is uh, it's just about maximizing the track and the whole width of the track but it's a great feeling when you get this section right and you can carry a lot of speed through here and the car goes light and it flies wide then you're back on the power again really nice this next corner down the dip carry a lot of speed through here and it really opens up nicely on the exit before we come to this tricky downhill section uh, and again on here it's it's slightly difficult with the, some of the unusual braking from some of these cars and you do have to get past them so there will be some barging um, yeah, there are a limited amount of laps obviously what do we what do we have here three laps on Bathurst so we can't hang around behind these guys because some of the other cars are pretty quick and we'll pull away the car just losing it slightly there again I do find that happens quite a lot in Gran Turismo 6 uh, the cars on downhill braking don't feel very settled and it's uh, the way the weight distribution is working I'm finding it very tricky and we come down this long high speed bottom section of the track into this uh, tricky tricky corner for this car because you want to carry speed in but it's much slower and I just find the back end comes out uh, you least expect it as I lose it fly off the track several spins and uh, manage to recover to survive for another day and now continuing on this lap so a heart stopping moment there uh, but we've managed to keep it on the black stuff get around the final corner and still within hope of winning the race not bad I meant to do that really um, so off we go then second lap and I'm now more determined and focused than ever to close up on these guys and see if I can make a difference it's uh, a long way to go in this race uh, but I'm finding I'm having to push quite hard so you know I am giving it everything I've got with this particular car it's not the best but um, it does have some good straight line speed coming up under braking now trying to make as much ground as possible not hanging around behind these guys as we go up the hill now Bathurst Bathurst isn't necessarily one of my favorite courses I, I know it's a uh, surprise to a lot of people that love this circuit and a lot of people love the Nürburgring but the two tracks which I've just never really got on with they're very popular with a lot of people but um, for myself it's not necessarily a track I'll play a great deal but uh, it, being the challenge that it offers and with the variety of corners uh, both tracks offer there's there's it's essential parts of any any racing game and any experience people should have in terms of driving and I think really that's down to the variety of corners and the, and the undulation that these tracks throw at you they're both tracks that are over mountain areas and uh, that, that adds a lot in terms of the driving experience I'm trying to find I'm trying to get past these guys cleanly but very tricky in the time we have to do that so We'd need if we were doing clean passes. We'd need a fair few more laps, I think, to get past them. So I probably went into the wrong gear there. That's it. Downhill. I was struggling on this first lap, but obviously the second lap now I've learned again from the first lap. I don't often do any practice before making these videos, just because we have such limited time in terms of uh, recording. It's just we just have to sort of get on with it. Replays, of course, very nice in the game. 
Uh, nice overhead replays, overhead cams. We come to this tricky corner again where the car lost it. So this time I'm going to slow down a lot more. I can see the NSX behind me is much, much quicker through that braking zone. So I am a little bit concerned that this car isn't getting into these braking zones very well. But either way, keeping it tidy. I'm working my way through the field, carrying as much speed through there as possible. The car uh, unbalances very quickly once it touches a blade of grass. So we go through this final corner and on to the third and final lap. But so far, I'm enjoying Gran Turismo 6 immensely. Found it to be lots of fun. Uh, obviously, improvements to handling physics is nice. Uh, just a really good fun game. It's really polished and professional. It's going to get lots of downloads and updates. There's tons to explore. Loads of race tracks. You know, pretty much something for everyone in terms of car love in the game. And there's, there's certainly something that we're going to be keeping up with on the channel for the months to come uh, there'll be lots of content there but of course we'll be focusing heavily in the new year on the PC content which has been delayed slightly oh that's the car again it's like it touches a bit of grass and you really feel that especially when you touch the brakes lucky to keep it on the road again I'm just trying to covering a line there I was, I was a bit concerned the other car would come up on the inside and now around the top of the hill for this final time and now I just need to keep the lead it looks like I'm in the lead now I don't have a lead indicator here as I'm commentating for you guys but it looks like we're in the lead now so it's just a case of keeping it together I can see the car behind me is much much quicker than me so I'm a little bit concerned a little bit cagey with my driving just to make sure I cover the I'm reasonably quick but I cover the line make the car wide then he won't get past Sort of sunlight glow. This game really does look fantastic for the PS3 hardware, it has to be said. Certainly, uh, for PS3 fans everywhere, it's still a must buy in terms of racing gaming. Best looking racing game on the format. Amazing what they've got out of the hardware, considering the complexities that it's supposed to have in terms of maximizing all of its features. Around that final downhill tricky section. And coming up to the dreaded corner for this car. This, this cor car does not like this corner. You can see the NSX, I think, is coming up behind me. So I'm covering the inside line. I'm thinking, right, I've got to cover this guy. He's way quicker than me under braking. I just can't stop. I just can't stop the car. So he slipped through. I can't have that. What am I going to do? We're going to try to dive up on the inside. Yes. Dive up on the inside. We just can't have that. Not after that race. And that's it, we're through. Again, oh, uh, the job done. Uh, otherwise, it would have been a grind doing this race again. But that's it for viewers on this race. And there'll be more action from me very soon.